Hello everyone, welcome back in today's tutorial on Informatica MDM. In today's tutorial, we are going to see one of the interesting features about Informatica MDM that is nothing but the composite services. Composite services are introduced in MDM 10 version. But how to use that it's, it, and what functions it, com it comes with, those are things we are going to see in today's tutorial. So let's start. If you know how to access the Informatica MDM hub, it's very simple. You have to use the server name, port and the CMX. It will take us to the MDM hub. So we have to just provide the uh, username and password and login. Once you log in, you will get this section such as configuration, model, SAM section, data steward and utilities. As a developer, our most of the work is, uh, is around the model. In this demo, we have configured one of the base object table and the name of table is party. This table has few columns such as first name, last name, full name, SSN, TIN and party type. We also have the corresponding staging table which is associated with the source point. We have the landing table for party which have the similar column first name, last name, middle of full name, SSN, thin, party type and additional column called as a source ID. Source ID here it, it will act as a PK source object and we have configured the mapping for this table as well. These are the pretty much basic configuration we have done. Only one thing to remember here is for the party table we have enabled the state management. It is required to enable the state management because we are going to configure the IDD application for this party table. Okay. Apart from this thing, what additional configuration we need? We need the queries and packages. So we have created one party query. And on that party query, we have created two packages. One is display package, which is based on the query called party, which is we just saw. And we also created the put package. Okay, so we are done with creating queries packages and the base object. Next thing we need to do is configuration of the IDD application. Because that is the one of the location from which we can generate the business entity. Of course, if you are using entity uh, provisioning tool, you can generate the business entity from there as well. But in today's demo, we are going to see how to generate the business entity or the composite services using IDD application. So for that, we have just done with the pre-work pre that is creating base object, queries packages, etc. Now we can go to the IDD application. This is configuration tool for IDD. We have created IDD app for using the party table so if you see here the subject area is party and which is based on the table called as a cb party what this subject area contains it contains only party which if you notice in the mdm hub we have not created any chart table so far so just uh, think to remember just so we have created the party subject area and it has column which is based on the base object. We are going to display the result using the display package which we configured in the MDM hub. So that is, this is pretty much configuration we need to configure. Once we are done with this, we have to save this application, validate it and here is the button which is used to generate the business entity. Once you hit this uh, generate business entity schema button, it will generate business entities for us how can you check that so for that you have to go to this database and run the query select star from c repos cocs config <coughs> so the if the if the base object and other identity configuration are correct this business entity will generate successfully you can see the business entities such as transformation searchable CO, task, composite object, writes, composite object, CO views. These are the components are get created. Okay, so we are done with basic creation. Now how to access the composite services? In order to access composite service, 
you can type the local the server name port cmx file a uh, cmx uh, and after that you have to type cs files as soon as you type the cs files depending on how many ors you have configured in your mdm for each ors there will be services composite services will be available for example for example we have the cmx ors as a uh, ors and it has the composite services such as uh, the name of service and it has a dot w a d l w a d l stand for web application description language we also have the w s w s d l that is web service description language or so the difference between WADL and WSDL is WADL is a description language which is XML language or XML format for the, for the HTTP based web services but if you, ha if you are have the SOAP based web services then WSDL will be used so WADL is for the HTTP based web services WSDL for the SOAP based web services most of the rest web services if you are aware or the restful web services those are nothing but the HTTP based web services so in order to make the HTTPS call we have to use this WADL how to use that it's very simple just right click on this link and click save link as and it will give us a like a directory location where we want to save for example i want to save here and you can give name like sample wadl and click save button so we save the file but what this file contains if you want to see the content of this file you can just right click and open in the new tab and we'll see what this wadl file contains WADL file contains several methods. We'll see that shortly. For example, post. It can have the gate method. It can have the delete method, etc. So in this, this party name is coming from the whenever we configure the base object and subject area. So we have the create party, which is used as the post as a method. The the, the data type will go through this application XML and application JSON. What are the parameters uses? It uses the system name, record status, process ID, validate only, etc. If you expand some more, it has the party ID as a resource path where you can change the resource uh, party ID, and then we have the method which I which. I, I, were uh, I was mentioning earlier it has a method such as put to update the record insert the record we have the insert record for the post put is to update the record if you want to delete the record we have the delete method and for fetching the data we have the get method all this operation is based on the party ID that is nothing but the row ID object so these are the operations available using which we can perform the activities now let's expand this update party if you use the update party these are the parameters you can configure it's mandatory or it's not mandatory similarly for the gate let's expand the gate and it has the similar properties so this properties also you can configure uh, at the runtime we'll see that shortly also so this is the web application description language which is used for the HTTP based web services now we got this file we just saved how to use in the SOAP AI. in order to use SOAP AI, we have to open the SOAP AI and go to the file and once you go to the file you can create the rest project it is not so project because if you need so if you want to create so project you have to save the WSDL file we have saved the WADL file so that is used for the RESTful web services 
Now either you can use the endpoint URL or you can use the shared file. I would recommend to do not use endpoint URL, it will not work properly and that's the reason we saved the file. In order to access that file you can click the import WADL file and browse here. We have saved here the sample, click here and open, click OK and it will open the project. Now as we know the post is used for the creating a party record. We are not going to create a party record. We are just going to fetch the property or fetch the record. So how to fetch? It's very simple. I am closing all these browsers for simplicity. In order to fetch any record using SOAP or uh, using RESTful API, you have to go to the gate functionality, double click double click on the request you will see the operation get here no need to change the endpoint is also properly pointed out right the next thing we need to do is we have to provide the username password where can you provide so at the bottom left you can see the headers attachment etc and very left you'll see the authentication click on that and in the authorization section provide the uh, click on the add new authorization select the type basic basic is like it's a form based authentication where you need to provide the username and password so as soon as you click basic it will comes with this kind of format the form based authentication you need to provide the admin username or the user for which has access so i'm giving the username password as admin so we, we provided the credentials now we have to provide the request detail before going to provide the request detail we need to know what this party id is this link is prepared based on what subject area we configure in the idt and what party id is nothing but the it is the raw id object so we need to provide the raw id object from that table so i'll just run this select query on the party table and i'll pick the raw id object from here the raw id object is one so let's provide that raw ID object one. It's very simple. When you click in this browser, just click it. It will open this new dialog box and provide the raw ID object. The raw ID object is one, which will be just that's the reason we are mentioning one here. And click OK. So we prepare the link or prepare the request. How to execute it? In order to execute, you can see this green button. Click on that and it will show us the result it says it's ssn is one two three full name is mike paul and the raw id object is one let's verify the values are correct or not yes the correct values are correct ssn is one two three and full name is mike paul now what this response contains so response contains two links in two links what 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 does it mean it the very first link if you see it is again the server name and um, it's a url you see the party and we get the one that is the raw ID object and it says self self means what are the data present in the party subject area that will be displayed here with this link but if you have the child such as address or identification etc those child data will not be presented here in order to access the child data you have to use this link it says two two things it says ch children and it says the depth if you have the multiple level child the, it will show us what depth level you can access so if the depth level like if you have the grandchild that will be different depth than the child so depth will give that it's a child and also the uh, this relationship will also mention whether it's a self or it's a children now let's access it's a self value how to access it's just copy this url go to your browser and hit enter it shows the what are the all the properties associated with the self which we already seen in this software if you want to access the child information you have to copy this the second link including that
and go to the browser and hit enter so it will show us the child information we can't see the child information here because we have not configured any child base object or we have not configured child subject area so in the next session we'll configure those details and we'll see how to access the child information for now I hope you got the, some basic idea about how to call Gate API on the Composite Services in Informatic MDM. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe my channel for more interesting updates about the MDM tool. Thank you again. Have a nice time.